my brother-in-law Teddy sent us something uh, the other day. Now, I'm going to tell you now, this is going to challenge some people. This will challenge some people because um, we have somehow switched our way of thinking and it's not necessarily Christian thinking. It's not kingdom thinking. It is very comfortable thinking. It is very... Um, it very much gives you allowances to live kind of how you want and give yourself the excuses. So I'm going to send you, I'm going to tell you what he said. Uh, when you mess up, instead of repenting, you say, I'm only human. When you want to give yourself a pass not to walk in the spirit so you won't fulfill the lust of the flesh, like the word says, you say, I'm first natural, then spiritual. If you need to do something hard, like forgive somebody or anything else that takes uh, the spirit of God empowering you and living on the inside, you say, I'm not Jesus. If someone uh, is, is not biblical in their thinking and someone is trying to, um, no, if someone is biblical in their thinking and they're trying to live right according to what God says, uh, someone would say to them, you got to have balance. When someone's trying to live holy through their life and actions and speech, speech you say, they're too, de they're too deep. These are ways of thinking that are not from God and they keep you far away from God. The danger is being, uh, in being far away from God is your identity is not in him, but in the culture produced by wrong perspectives in the first place. You may wonder why you can't see his fruit produced in your life. Well, it's because you're, you identify with worldly perspectives more than biblical truths. The way to change this is time with the father, time for him to reveal himself to you, to empower you, to remind you that he lives on the inside and you can really do all things, even things that the culture tells you you can't because that's not natural. That's not normal. You're human. We're just, you know, what are you expecting? I'm not Jesus. All these things that you tell yourself, don't say it to yourself. That's, that's where to start. I'm sorry. I know it's rough, guys. I know. We want to live how we want. We want to do what we want. We want to post things like I'm saved, but I cuss a little. We want to say I'm saved, but I'll punch you in the face. I'm saved, but I don't like people and all these things that don't line up with the word of God at all. I'm sorry. You're not going to see all that God has for you because you're too busy inviting other things in that don't line up with what, how he wants us to be. I love you and I mean, that's my faith walk of the day.